Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan again. And I wish I didn't have to put videos like this together. I wish um, there just was a better level of decency in this business out there. And uh, it's this kind of stuff that makes people look at decent working folks like we have at our dealership like they're wolves. Because there's a lot of wolves out there who call themselves salesmen. And there's, there's, this is just plain dishonesty. And um, I really debated on even putting something like this out because I try very hard to foster positivity. I try very hard to focus on the good, fun things. But at the end of the day, unfortunately, this is the reality of a lot of what's out there and you folks need to know about this. What am I getting at? I'm going to, I'm gonna do the decent thing and at least withhold names here. This is a copy of a, of a written up worksheet uh, buyer's order we've obtained from one of our customers from uh, a big chain dealership here in Michigan. They have five stores in this state alone. They're pretty big across the nation. Um, and the level of gross misinformation and dishonesty that's going on here is beyond compare. So uh, we were, this place and us here at Halid RV, we were working uh, to earn the business of the same customer on a Coachman Ultralight Bunkhouse at Freedom Express here. And uh, the customer came to us and said, I really just kind of get a better feel from your dealership, but I've got this smoking hot price tag here. Can you work with me on that? And absolutely, you know. The, the one thing that we ask guys, you gotta remember like if you go to a grocery store and you want them to price match a can of peas with a coupon, you need to produce the competitor's ad. Well, we're not talking a can of peas here. We're talking something much larger and with many more dollars involved. And I have no problem working with anybody, but I need to see for real what I'm up against. And you hear a lot of stuff out there. These places will say things, well, it's this much money out the door plus taxes. Well, that's not out the door, but this is the these are the words that are used every day in this business now, and I just, it kind of shocks me. Anyway, what it comes up to is, uh, this says right here, total real money that they're gonna pay on this thing would be $23,000, okay? It's a little bit of a too good to be true kind of thing. But they started preying on this person, and they started saying, you know, what's your real motivation? They found out that this person was really shopping based on a specific payment that fit within their budget. And uh, the, the folks then ask, okay, at this figure, what are my payments coming up to? And this is where it got crazy. Now, the reason that we asked for all this, hold on, I'm trying to be decent, and I'm not trying to start a war out here, but I want customers to know what's going on. The reason that we ask this is because we are a no-fee dealership. We don't do dealer fees. We don't charge you extra to get it shipped here, to get it quality inspected multiple times, to, to include battery and propane fills, and to include water and electric surge protectors. I don't care if you're buying a pop-up, a fifth wheel, a motorhome. That is part of the package here at Halid RV, a real price tag. So, this place, surprisingly, writes up a quote that shows no dealer fees. Great, so what's that payment come out to be? And this came directly from that facility's business manager. This is not just a bonehead salesman. What I'm looking at here on this email comes straight from a finance business officer. So this is the culture of this organization. And this is what really bothers me. It says, base payment without any protections on the loan. So we're already resorting to scare tactics, okay? Is 211 per month. If you calculate that principal off their worksheet against the interest rate that they offered here, it has not come up to 211 a month. It comes up to a, a little bit less than that. So they are adding dealer fees on top of that $23,000 that they hard black and white quoted right here. And I apologize if I, I try to be happier and positive about this. I don't like bullies. I don't like liars. I don't like deception. And I get really heated up about stuff like this. And it's why I took about two weeks to record this video because uh, I was so screaming, flipping mad when I first saw it that had I put it out, it probably would have had a lot of profanity on there and I would have lost some viewership. Anyway, 
So, we're using scare tactics like where some shifty used oil change place and uh, we're also lying about our hidden dealer fees because what they're going to do is they're gonna try to sucker this fella into signing up on a bank contract for two and 11 a month. But the actual figures on the actual written worksheet that the customer signs are not going to be what they originally quoted them. They're gonna wait until that guy gets there and they're gonna try to use con man tactics to make that customer feel bad about backing out of a deal. Well, we've already spent time working on this and these wheels are already in motion and you have to understand what you're doing to us. That's con man level stuff. Um, so then they say after this, payment with a full five year bumper to bumper warranty on the entire RV. I don't have problems with offering things like this. I have several problems here with the fact that there is no such thing as a bumper to bumper warranty in the RV industry. That's a lie. I'm not, I'm not even trying to say that's dishonest. That's just a bold faced lie. Also, you can't call it a warranty if a customer is paying for it after they've already received a price quote. There's so many levels of unbelievable dishonesty going on here. Now, they give them a third option. Payment with full five-year bumper bumper warranty and 10 years of gap insurance. So, for those of you who don't know what gap insurance is, is you've got um, the value of your loan and then your RV value may not be as much. God forbid your RV gets totaled because of a disaster, because some person's texting and blows through a stoplight and hits your trailer or something like that. Your trailer, what your insurance company covers may not be what you owe outstanding on the balance of that loan. Gap insurance can help cover that. But in this case, with this customer, there's no reason they ever should have been offered this because of things like where their down payments and whatnot were structured, they were not in a danger situation. This is a ridiculous charge for way too much money looking at it that never should have been offered to this customer. So there's so many layers of just disgusting dishonesty involved here. It just, it absolutely frustrates me. And stuff like this that, uh, you know, it really mandates and compels me to put out videos like this. Every time I think about not sharing a defect I find on a used RV. I remember stuff like this. And I tell myself, I'll be damned if I'll ever be like that guy. We have never, ever had to resort to this sort of con man, 1970s used car scare tactic nonsense. This to me ranks right up there with those scams where somebody from, I don't know, Pakistan, throw, throw any place out you want, South Venezuela if you don't like Pakistan. Anyway, you get the point that they, they call old people and tell them that they owe $3,600 to the IRS and they can send that money, um, you know, at like Walmart or Target with a, a money forwarding. This is preying upon people and it's disgusting. And I'm really fortunate that I work at a place that doesn't have that kind of culture. So something I've always said is you buy the dealership as much as you buy the RV. And I don't think that could be any more true than in a case like this. I always encourage everybody don't just take my opinion for it. I'm just one guy. I've got a lot of experience. I don't care how many RVs you've owned or how many people you know, you haven't seen close to as many as I have, and I have seen far more purchase agreements than you have. I'm an experienced source. I'm not the only source. You could very easily argue and say, yeah, but this guy's a bias source because his paycheck depends on your business. My paycheck does depend on your business, but there's a difference between stealing it and earning it. I hope you appreciate what we do here at Halitz. I hope you appreciate that we take the time to put these videos together to help you folks. That we show you what to look for. We show you how to shop for campers. We show you how to compare campers. Because I feel like if we do our job, you will come to us. You will visit our dealership. And I've, I've always felt that if you give us a fair chance to meet our people, more often than not, you will do business with us. Kind of like folks from two and a half there. I, I just recorded a little video with uh, the, the kid of some owners today just to spend some time with them. Just every ounce of customer service we could ever pour into this thing. We do try. Sometimes that means sharing some things like this that aren't pleasant about my industry. I love this business. I love what we do. I like that we get to, you know, I don't sell campers. I feel like I sell fun. You know, there's a lot of fun things about this, but there's also a lot of really, really disgusting, distasteful things. 
And it's really easy, like when I'm sitting here, I have a new salesman or even an experienced veteran salesman, every now and then you'll have a customer who comes in with just a real hard edge attitude about them. And basically they don't care about you. They don't care about your story. They're in it for them and nobody else. And I understand why. Because of stuff like this. Because they don't know if they can trust us or not. So the only thing they can do is be pretty hard edged and tough to deal with to try to force themselves into getting the best deal possible to protect themselves from, if nothing else, just the price standpoint. I, I understand it. I wish it didn't have to be that way. Hopefully it doesn't have to be. And hopefully you understand that isn't the kind of business that we do at Halitz. And there is just an easier way to do this. So with that, hopefully the next message is a little bit more fun. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.